Good afternoon, everybody. I am Angel. Welcome to the channel. The city of Ayacucho, the ancient uh, Huamanga of the colony, will commemorate and celebrate its 481 years of Spanish foundation. So I wanted to greet the people from Ayacucho, and I also want to recommend this book that I bought at the International Book Fair in the city two years ago. Its name is History and Culture of Ayacucho, edited by Antonio Zapata, Nelson Pereira, and Rolando Rojas. And this was a cooperation between UNICEF and the Institute of Peruvian Studies. This book is a collaboration between school teachers from the region and historians who work for the Institute of Peruvian Studies. In 292 pages, this is divided in four chapters about the regional history. In the eight chapters, a whole panorama of the region is covered, starting with the territory, and then the pre-Hispanic period, the colonial era, the 19th century and the first uh, half of the 20th century, the decades of 1950 to 1970, the political violence that affected Peru in general and Ayacucho in particular, urban culture, the peasant world or rural world, uh, and there are some pictures and uh, appendixes that make this book complete not only for school children who are the target this book is aimed at them, but also the general public and specialized public. There you can see the work of teachers and historians, as I am saying. Something that is really good and expected evidently because teachers participated here is the fact that each chapter, for example the third one devoted to the colonial city of Huamanga, is introduced by a photo, but apart from the different divisions, apart from the articles that it has, let's say, for example, the foundation of the city, the institutions, some resistance to the Spanish conquest, the viceroys, etc. At the end of each chapter, you can find academic references and also you can find this uh, teaching guide or pedagogic guide which helps the teacher um, conduct, you know, let's say, ask some questions. Not only questions in which the student has to repeat what they have read, but something beyond questioning, understanding, proposing some solutions. There are some activities that are to be done after reading the chapter. It's, for example, not only placing in a map you know, some buildings, but also going out, exploring the city, exploring the monuments, the colonial houses that are mentioned here, also further reading the Chronicle of Guaman Pomerayala, which is an, an invaluable document, so they are asking the students to do that. In this way, they can question, they can contrast information and not just limit to what the book or what the teacher says. In the last chapter, I really, really like it because it is about the rural world. There are even some uh, riddles. It, co it is said, Imalia Hayajasa, it means literally um, guess, guesser. And they are asking students in Quechua and Spanish, which is really important because more and more people are born in the city. So it means that maybe the Quechua language is being lost among the new generations. So, in in a way, this part rescues that. For example, Huk Tastauma Warmilla Runa Wahachik. It means a disheveled woman who makes people cry. What is the answer? Sibulia, which means onion. So, it can be really, really nice. This book has everything about the history and the culture of Ayacucho, so I really recommend it. I want to greet the Ayacuchanos, I want to greet the Huamanguinos. Keep making your city the great city it was and it is. Bye-bye.